Good morning, Stitch Woodies. I'm like going to talk 100 miles an hour because I need to get this floss tube up before the guys show up to start pounding and drilling and sawing. It's been a cacophony of music around here, construction music. Um, everything is going really well. Uh, it's a beautiful day. So G is going to be going out hiking today. It's his birthday. Oh, you know, and there's so much to reflect on this birthday. You know, I just, I think that when you get to our age and this many years together, there is a lot to be grateful for and a lot to acknowledge. And one is that life is not perfect. People are not perfect. But somehow we have gotten to this point in our lives, not because of the perfect moments in our life, but because of the imperfect moments and how we handled them. That is the only explanation of why he and I, two entirely different personalities, um, both totally committed to family and our creative endeavors that we are still together it's it's a blessing it's a blessing and I wish it for many of you for all of you but I know that sometimes life doesn't work out that way and we are just living in our blessedness let me tell you I have lots to share with you because it's been a, a a little while and um, I not only had of course I'm not going to get all the terminology right but I not only had um, oh acorn gathering at acorns and threads I also had a Biscornu day at acorns and threads which is my LNS and it was nothing but a good time. I did have to, at Acorn Gathering, leave abruptly because of a um, family emergency that was turned out just fine, but it required my full attention, and all is well. But I had nothing but a good time. I have had nothing but a good time, and I think part of it is the relaxing in the pursuit of the crafts that I love. Uh, taking a deep breath, because breathe is my word for the year, and acknowledging that at this time in my life, I want to embrace that which makes me happy. And leave behind all of that chatter that goes on in our head about what we should be doing. We should, if there is one should, we should be doing what brings us contentment. That's what we should be doing. I did get a question in um, one of the previous videos to show I had said I had, um, I now have eight, I had eight new starts in January. Eight new starts. And I love them all. And someone said they wanted to see my new starts. So I'm going to show the new starts. The first one, let's see if I can find it is called, it's my Biscornu. It is my Biscornu. So it is in my Punky Pearl. I am in love with these folders. They hold their zippered pouches with clear lining and they hold um, small projects. Small projects. And so 
my quirky tomato is my biscornu. Um, I think that was what it was called. Yes. And this is the pattern. I got this at Acorns and Threads. What's not to love about a tomato? I'm only working on this on Biscorno Day, so it'll be a little bit, because I'm kind of a slow stitcher. So that's, I got my first little border. So that was number one. Number two, let's see. <laughs> I hope you're patient with me. Because let us see what number two. <laughs> I have a number two. It's called the Mender, and it is a sal um, for uh, Becca Sambri Stitches' birthday of which I'm not selling. I'm just doing it. Selling requires a certain amount of um, attention to uh, a timeline, and I have given up timelines. I've given up timelines. I know. Timelines, deadlines amuse me. That's why I have that, um, I know I have it here someplace. I do. Uh, in this organized mess, I have it. I have it. But anyway, that was number two. It might be in the bedroom. Okay, number three is the 2022 Prairie Schooler Santa, which on, I show it on my Instagram. It's the one with the two penguins. Number four was The Chubby Bird by um, Beth Twist, and I, that was an FFO, so you saw that in a previous video. The Owl. I'm not going to show that because that's a, a, birthday, a birthday gift, but know that I did not count correctly on the border, and so I have to do a small adjustment. I am not going to rip out this whole big area, but I'm going to do a minor adjustment. Bountiful is the sow with Fat Quarter Shop, and you can go on that and um, take a look and join up the threads. Oh, the threads. What can I say about the threads? This beautiful little pencil box. Look at that. And that is called Bountiful. And I haven't gotten much further than that, but I am working away at it. There is always room. Now, this was a start this month because um, I'm going to have to stop the video because there's a spider. Hang on. Back. <laughs> spider break. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, there is always room. I fell in love with this chart when I first saw it because of the sentiment on it. It was... Um, there is always room at the table. It speaks on so many levels. And it's a beautiful chart. It's a beautiful chart. And if, I'm ha if I have to admit it, I am not a reproduction sampler person. I struggle. I struggle with putting, and I, I so admire all those six, seven, and ten-year-old little girls and boys who have stitched it, but I struggle with putting their name on it. I want to put 
my name, I want to put my date after I've worked so hard on it. I, I just, um, I always like to personalize everything, even in my quilting world. So reproduction samplers have, although I think they are gorgeous, they aren't quite my cup of tea. And, but I do love a sampler that is created by a designer. And so this one was created by Ellen Reed, Maximum Cross Stitch. And when I first saw it, I immediately went to Evertote and ordered the sampler and the Roxy and Leo floss for it. I knew that I was going to pick out my own fabric. Um, and so it was all kitted up until I found out I was wife of the week. And let me tell you, G was going, what the heck does that mean? But I had always thought of myself as a bit on the side. So to actually be wife of the week, I said, well, that demands, that requires me to start this sampler in honor of my designated wife of the week moment. And so I did. And I got the border on that. Yeah, she'd be coming around the corner. And I knew that I wanted to do this sampler on some of the Cedar River linen. And um, it's 36 count Tephra. It's gorgeous. You need to go to that site, and I will put the link down below. But um, she's a one-woman shop that creates beautiful linen color. And um, so that was real exciting. And then Snack Bar was the last start for January, and that happened at um, Acorn Gathering. I know you're just like, just spit it out, Anna. Just spit it out. Yeah. Um, so at Acorn Gathering, we were given a chart by Lindy Stitches. <laughs> Isn't that a hoot and a half? But I knew that I was not going to be doing this whole chart because I fell in love with this bear and his butt. And um, I knew that I wanted to stitch him and put him on the top of a Yazzie bag. Um, he's so cute. He is so cute. And so we were given the chart, the floss, and this beautiful fabric. And that, that literally was my start at Acorn Gathering because I'm shy and I I couldn't um, uh, stitch with all the conversation going on around me. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's That was the eight starts for January. So what else happened this month? Well, you know, I'm in love with these, um, I forget what Heather calls them, these kind of binder project, project binders, and they're by Punky Pearl. Um, and you, she kind of posts them on Instagram, or you can go to her site, and you can um, say you want one. Uh, I did this last time, but it turned out I wasn't fast enough, and I um, and she didn't have the fabric anymore. But she did say she would do a custom order, and so I went through my pile of um, honeybee fabric, and I sent her the required amount. So I am going to get another Punky Pearl project folder 
with honeybees. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. So besides stitching on, um, there's room at the table. This, uh, since the last time we spoke, I also stitched on my adventure sampler. And this is by uh, Sambri Stitches. And that is where I am at. I should, I think I should have started in a different part of this fabric so it's not so dark, but I love the fabric. And I had so many choices on where to start it, but it's going to be beautiful and it will be hanging in the van for our adventures. So I stitched on that this since last we met. Stitched on the There's Room at the Table. And then I have been stitching on this. I love this book. Got this book at um, Acorns and Threads and there is nothing to not love about this book. It And it has, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five charts in it. It's just like a nice, it's like a National Geographic. <laughs> it has that feel to it. And it has a recipe on the back. Mm. Oh, I'm drooling. But I'm on the last one. Um, so I'm just kind of doing them all on one piece of cloth. So this is the last one I'm working on. And then I will FFO those into little pillows. And I'm doing it on 36 count vintage country mocha Edinburgh linen. Yeah. And I'm having a lot of fun. Besides, okay, I'm having a, a brain fart here. Besides at Acorn Threads getting the Lindy Stitches project, we also got this specially designed you get your thread keep here and then your needle minder and your uh, like a floss bitty thing to wrap your thread up. So this sits at the table and um, it's like a perfect little thing. It's a perfect little thing and it's by um, Oh, so Kelly Company. Is that right? Yeah. That's not actually written on this one, but I know that because it's so Kelly. Because um, I won a drawing at the um, the Acorn Gathering, which meant that I got a, a second choice of this, and so I got an email from Kelly, and I chose one with honeybees on it. Yeah, I was like on fire that day, because uh, I won twice. One one package I won, I gave the, the pattern to a table mate, because she looked like she loved it. I also won this um, Fairy Wool in the Woods pattern, ABC of Spring series. And I know I'm going to do that, but... I don't know what that is. I've looked at that and looked at that and looked at that and I can't tell what that is. But I'm going to bring the strawberries all the way across. So I won that pattern and in that package I also won this little kit, this Lizzie Cake kit. Boo to you. It has the fabric, the stitching fabric, the little charms, it's like a, it's, I almost don't want to open it because it's so cute. It's so cute. So that was, 
that was like a fun, fun day. Just a fun, fun day. As far as haul goes, when I was at Acorn Gathering, you get, uh, when you sign up for a workshop, you get a discount at the shop. And so you want, you're going to want to keep, you're going to want to get on the Acorn uh, and Threads um, newsletter because you're going to want to keep on top of when the next workshops are because you not only get this fabulous time with girlfriends, I mean fabulous time with girlfriends, you also get a discount to go shop. Yes. And since I had a discount and I had the remainder of a um, gift card from G and uh, I decided to gift myself these um, Kohana scissors. They are Japanese. Uh, I mean the whole presentation, it's, it comes in this box with this beautiful elastic ribbon and this like silk wrap and when you open it up you get these beautiful pair of scissors. I mean, look at that. Them up though, I'm pinching them. The little tassel. Oh, it's just, I don't know. You know, we, along with fabric, we are scissor collectors. So I had to get a pair of those. I had to get, and there was only one pair of red left. But Janine can order these for you, I'm sure. They are just, um, they are truly a gift to myself. <laughs> After all, it's G's birthday, so, um, yeah, I get a gift on his birthday, too. <laughs> so I got those. I picked up, I had pre-ordered this pattern. The, let me explain this ahead of time. I am not sure what goes on in the cross-stitching world, but a lot of pictures on patterns do not do the project justice. And I would have never bought this pattern based on the front of this pattern. I mean, yeah. It's a friendship book, but the whole photograph and everything, I don't know. But when I saw Janine's finished little pillows and the fabric and the floss that she chose for those little pillows, I was like, I gotta have that. That is the sweetest thing. So I am going to be making, because I do everything Janine does because, you know, she knows everything. Um, I'm going to do the little pillows. They are so, it's so adorable. Anything else in here, haul? Well, my biggest haul, my biggest haul was after much discussion, uh, back and forth discussion with Sue Stanley, and you will have to, I'll link her floss tube down below also. Um, I was talking to her about hoops. Um, I'm a lot of times an in-hand stitcher, but I do like a Morgan hoop. Um, but I noticed that she uses a Harwick hoop. And she gave, she spent some, uh, you know, was really sweet and explained to me why she liked them, uh, what she used them for. So I kind of was doing a little research and I... I didn't think I was going to give up my Morgan hoops because I love those. But I did like this one setup with the Harwick hoop. And when I saw it at Acorns and Threads, I asked Janine, I said, you know, does this work? 
does this work? And she said, well, a lot of people like it. And I said, well, I, I told her I was talking to Susan about the Harwick hoops. And she goes, oh, this is a Harwick hoop. And I, I said, really? Well, she let me try it out because I was there for Biscornu Day. So I mounted my Biscornu um, stitching onto this hoop and I used it and I fell in love. I mean, I fell in love. Um, I'm used to um, resting the hoop either on the shelf or on the belly shelf on a stitching pillow. But I really, 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 really wanted to learn a lot about two-handed stitching and I like sewing, the sewing method. And so this is what I got. It looks kind of strange. So here's the Harwick hoop and then here's the little thing and then here's this. Now, no, it does not go on the table. This goes between your legs. Yes. This goes between your legs. So it sits like this between your legs, and this adjusts height-wise or degree of angle of the hoop. And so your hands are totally free. Your, your belly's free, your breasts are free, you can breathe, and your stitching isn't going up and down, if you, if you know what I mean. So I used it at the shop. It was a game changer in my brain. And so I was a little bit worried coming home because of the chair that I sit in at home. Um, you know, at the shop, we're at tables, and the chairs are kind of like office chair, kind of, uh, not the rolling kind of office chairs, but, you know, they're upright chairs. But I kind of sit back at home more, and so I tried it when I got home. I stitched all night with um, this, and I love it. I just love it. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm shocked because I had uh, different kinds of, um, you know, stitching frames and all of that, but I have to say this is, this is a game changer for me. So that is available at Acorns and Threads. Everything's adjustable. Yeah. Liking it, liking it. So what's in the future for us now? Well, we've got banging, 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 banging. That's what's in the future for us. <laughs> I have been um, delving into a new book called The Book of Lost Names. Cannot stop listening to it. Um, it is, I mean, it's just, it's a great, great read. Um, still working halfway through the myth of normal, which I am like, wow, I wish I could parent over again. Um, I wish I knew more than I... Back when I was first a parent, I had no skill set at all. Um, and, uh, you know, both G and I, for a good part of our lives, were only children. So... Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of skill sets. <laughs> so our first child was our test, test, test parenting child, as probably many, for, for many of you. But um, uh, sometimes I, when I'm reading The Myth of Normal, I wish I could do it over again. Not really, but I wish that I knew what I know now. But I guess what I know now comes with experience, doesn't it? It just comes with experience. I started watching um, The Shrink, which um, I think it's on Apple TV. I think it's on Apple TV. And um, I'm enjoying that. 
I'm enjoying that. It has Harrison Ford in it. Yeah, Harrison Ford. So that's what we're up to on the uh, entertainment side of our lives. It looks beautiful today, so I am have high hopes. I already have um, lined up in my mind of places I want to go camping, people I want to visit. I really want to make my way up into Washington State. And, um, yeah, it's garbage day. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> oh, that was a school bus. Yeah, school bus. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fabulous time. I hope all of you that are in Texas and thereabouts are surviving that freezing, freezing weather. Um, spring is coming. Spring is coming. Love you guys. You take care.